hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to obtain the forces in each spin and this is the fourth video of this video series as you can see this is a spin this is a typical spin and this is a typical equation and this one and two came from node numbers in this spin node numbers are one and two that's why uh, this forces labeled as f1x and f2x this cap meaning is this equation is written for local forces and local displacements that means we consider single spin not the entire spin system okay let's see, go to our problem and at first I will consider spin 1 so this is spin 1 and node numbers are 1 and 3 so this 1 and 3 came from node numbers this f1x cap and f3x cap means local forces of this spin 1 and this 1000 number came from spin constant spin constant of spin 1 is 1000 it is given in our problem and these are the displacements so since these node numbers are 1 and 3 this is d1 and this is d3 as I told you before since this node 1 is fixed there is no displacement therefore I wrote 0 in this space and when we talk about d3 we found it before so we found it as d3x equals 10 or 11 inches and how those values came to our equation and we can simplify this and take the answers for f1x cap and f3x cap I will show you only for this spin spin 2 and spin 3 I will not calculate these local forces but I will show you the equations you can calculate it and get the answers so if I want to get f1x cap I can calculate it like this so I will multiply this row with this column for f1x cap so I will cal multiply 1000 is 0 so answer is 0 then minus 1000 with 10 over 11 so it comes minus 1000 times 10 over 11 so if I simplify this I can get minus 10,000 over 11 that's how I got answer for f1 next cap and for f3x cap I will multiply this row with this column so f3x cap equals minus 1000 times 0 so it becomes 0 plus 1000 plus sorry 1000 times 10 or 11 so I will multiply 1000 with 10 or 11 so if I simplify this I can get the answer as 10,000 over 11 so that's the answer for f3x cap so that's how I calculate f3x cap so units are lb for both forces and this bottom figure showed the spin 1 and its local forces so these are the node numbers 1 and 3 these are the local forces and since f1x cap is minus value it is directed to the opposite direction of x you can see x is directed to the right direction so these positive values we marked as we mark to the 
right direction negative values we mark opposite opposite direct to the x direction that means to the left direction that's why uh, this is marked as left direction so i hope you got the idea so i will jump to the sprint 2 in here i will consider this sprint 2 so node numbers are 3 and 4 that's why this node 3 and this number 3 and 4 i wrote here and this 2000 numbers came from sprint constant of sprint 2 and these are the displacements of node 3 and node 4 so we found it before as s3x equals 10 or 11 that means displacement of node 3 is 10 or 11 so i substitute here and displacement of node 4 is 15 or 11 so that's why i put 15 or 11 here so as i calculated before we can calculate f3x cap and f4x cap and finally this is for sprint 3 and node numbers are node 4 and node 2 that's why i wrote fx cap and f2x cap and displacements are uh, this is displacement of node 4 displacement of node 4 i showed you before 15 or 11 and this is node 2 this is corresponding to node 2 and if you consider node 2 it is fixed and therefore the displacement will be 0 that's why i wrote 0 in this space so we can simplify this and get the answers for f4x cap and f2x cap so i hope you got the idea that is how we calculate and or we obtain the forces in each spring please like comment and share this video to see future educational videos please subscribe learning net YouTube channel. Thank you.